we've got this beautiful ladder stitch and a nice straight edge to work with. Let's see how we can add a second row of stitching to our stacked stitches. So I'll delete this ladder stitch and I want to select stitch 131. I'm going to touch midway up on my scroll bar here and then I can just drag until I see 131 appear. It's a little bit easier than trying to page through all of those stitches. There it is. My little leafy stitch. Now because I did the last one in a small size, I'll do this one in a small size as well. It's also built in in two different sizes. And I've still got my guide beam activated and this is really going to help me to stay straight. So the guide beam is positioned right at the leftmost point of my decorative stitch. And that's what I want to place right along the right side of my ladder stitch. So we'll position our fabric underneath the presser foot. And then to make it even easier to align that stitch on my last stitch, I'm gonna turn the camera on. We've always got the camera available to us. It gives us that bird's eye view or the needle's eye view of where we're going to stitch. So when I slide my fabric into position, I can see the right side of my ladder stitch and line it up so that my guide beam lands right on that ladder and that leftmost portion of my decorative stitch is going to be stitched right on top of my existing row of stitches. Now I'll scoot it up just a little bit here. So I start directly on the ladder. And one more really handy tool for aligning stitches is you can actually view the needle drop position. So on our stitch preview screen here, we have this little plus sign in a magnifying glass. I'm gonna activate that. And now, it gives me the ability to use needle drop position. Now in order for this to come on, your presser foot does need to be down, but the machine will tell me that. See, it says go ahead and lower the presser foot, so I'll lower that. I'll try one more time, and I get a little crosshair exactly where my needle is going to begin stitching. So I can see that it's going to drop directly down into the latter portion of my decorative stitch. Now that I've verified that my needle drop position is correct and it's going to be straight, I'm gonna to touch OK to turn that off and I'm ready to stitch. Love how the stitch combination looks. So I'm gonna do it on the other side of my ladder as well. All I have to do is flip my fabric around, I've mirror imaged the stitch top to bottom, lined it up, and I'm ready to go. Mm -hmm. 